Hi, I'm Jennifer Bang Waiko. Welcome to the Slow Food Series. We're here in Turin at the Slow Food Salone del Gusto Terra Madre event, and we're going to be trying some of the tastes and flavors from the Americas, from Europe, from Africa, and Asia Oceania, and also, of course, some foods from Italy. Come with me as we enjoy the sights, sounds, and flavors of slow food. Hi, I'm here with Marcelo from the Brazil Slow Food Stand and he's just going to go through some of the products that they've got here from Brazil. Okay. Thank you. Guarana is a native fruit from Amazonia and uh, you don't find Guarana plants uh, growing spontaneously. It's been uh, domesticated for many, many, many years and Satere Maue is the, the owner of the most ancient plants of Guarana in all the world. Uh, it, they take the fruit, they dry it, they uh, smoke it, they make these sticks so they can use it uh, during the whole year, they grate it, they put it water, they eat it with fruits, and it's very energetic. It's part of the cosmology, the Guarana plant. Uh, it's born with Satare Maue community. They are glued together. They also do native honeys. Um, they have a very nice project to, uh, to bring back this kind of honeys. Oh, there's a really strong smell coming off this honey. It smells a little bit like a vinegar almost. Let's have a taste and see what it's like. Mmm, wow. That's got kick to it. Yeah, I can tell that it's really medicinal, it's sweet and it tastes slightly just like vinegar. It's really delicious. Yeah. More it ferments, more the flavor is more complex. You can age it uh, and it's going to be even more complex and the taste will change. Palms from Brazil, licuri is another palm which you can use everything from the fruit, from the nut, from the poop from the fibers, from the palm horn. Okay, let's say this, this is umbu jam. Mm. Wow, it's really delicious. It's sort of got a limey sort of flavor, but it's, it's very different. It's really delicious. Yeah. Hi, I'm here with Sabrina from the, um, the Japanese stall here at Slow Food, and she's just gonna tell me a little bit about what these lovely looking foods are here on this plate. So here we have Japanese ingredients. Here we have um, small biscotti with sesame, black sesame here. Here we have, uh, the one that is on top is uh, pepper root that's marinated. It's very strong in taste. And then here we have a biscotti which is made with carbonated water. On top of it we have Italian cheese. And in green we have the same pepper but the leaf of it. So it's dried and it's powdered and it's on top of it. And here we have like seaweed. Mm -hmm. and then the same cheese and on top of it it's a small fish. And the fish are marinated in soy sauce and sugar. So it's salty and sweet at the same time. So first we're gonna try the Tan San biscuit with the San Shou pepper. Mm. Wow! What a combination of flavors. We've got the sweet honey with a little bit of, I think it's feta cheese. And we've got this Tan San biscuit and it's just so beautiful, crunchy, sweet and slightly spicy all at the same time. Now I'm just gonna taste some of this Ikanago. Mm. Wow, it's fishy, chewy, salty and sweet all at the same time. It's just amazing. Uh, now we have the stem of the sun show pepper. Wow, it's slightly peppery, salty, it's just delicious. You can't have a Japanese meal without a bit of tea. And this tea is called Sayama tea and it's cold. Wow, that's so delicious.